Hi everyone, Storm in a Teacup, Tegan here. Thank you for those that watched my video last week. I'm sorry the editing was a bit kinda, but um, I'm still working out the program, so I'm hoping this week it's a little bit better. Now this week, I am doing my first of a series of videos that I'm going to be starting called Author Spotlight, where I'm going to talk about one of my favorite authors and the books that I love by them. The first author I'm going to be talking about is A.L. Michael. She is from North London. She's in her 20s and I think she's brilliant. I came across her books on my Kindle. They were in my recommendations. For those of you who aren't familiar with Kindles, as you read it kind of takes notice of what genres or types of books you're reading and they'll recommend books for you and she came up. Now all the information for this author I will be putting down in the syllabub. That's a Johnny Vickers reference! She is on Twitter, she's got her own website, all the information will be down there for you. Now. The three novels I have read by A.L. Michael are If You Don't Know Me By Now, My So-Called Love Life, and The Last Word. I'm going to start with the first one I read, which was If You Don't Know Me By Now. Now the main character is Imogen, she's moved to London to pursue a career in writing, but ends up working as a barista in this coffee shop. Imogen starts a blog called Twisted Barista, where she rants about all the customers and the horrible things that happen to her at work. I'm a hospitality worker, so reading these rants about these customers and I was just like, I've served these customers, they suck. I know exactly what you're going through. And so it was really great to read a book that kind of got hospitality. You can tell when you're reading books if the author has worked in hospitality. Same goes with TV shows and movies. You can tell if they actually have that experience. And A.L. Michael has obviously worked as a barista to be able to have those rants down because I know them. I know the pain <laughs> of, of them. Um, it was a great book. It like I read it in one sitting. I literally could not put it down. I loved it. Imogen's a really likable main character. Now it's Chicklet, so obviously there's going to be a love interest and his name is Declan. I'm not going to tell you too much about him because he's got this kind of air of mystery thing going on for him throughout the book, so I don't want to tell you too much in case you read it, and I suggest that you do read it because it's a really good book. So this next one is called My So-Called Love Life, which is about Tiger Lily James. And can I just say, I love the names for her characters, they're brilliant. Now, Tiger Lily is a part of a group called the Young and Bitter Club, which she has with her two best friends. They have their misery dinners where they rant about their exes because they suck. Enter Ollie, who is the love interest in this book, and I loved Ollie. He was awesome. I loved these characters, they were really relatable. Again, one of the things I love about A.L. Michael's characters is you'll read them and be like, oh, I would be friends with this person, they're awesome. And that was one of the reasons I think why I fell so easily into these books. The next book I have read by A.L. Michael is The Last Word. Now this one is probably my favorite of the three. Obviously I really enjoyed all of them, but I loved the main character in this book. Her name is Tabby Riley and she's just, she's fiery and she's strong and she's a really great main character, main female character. She's she's awesome and again is one of those characters where if she was real I would want her to be my friend because Tabby is awesome. Now she's an online blogger whose online life is a little bit more glamorous than her real life. Now her online blog has a lot of followers and it ends up getting picked up by an online newspaper. And their editor, Harry, is a love interest for this book. And Harry is brilliant. Harry and Tabby together are brilliant. And it's it's really cute watching this relationship form. And as a bonus, just recently, we got a little bit more to the Harry and Tabby story with A.L. Michael bringing out a short story for Halloween, which was super exciting. And thank you to A.L. Michael for taking the time to write that little short story for us because, yeah, it was really, really nice. <laughs> so that's all I've got for you this week. Thank you for taking the time to watch. If you like the sound of any of these books, all the information on the author and the books will be in the description below. If you do end up reading any of her books, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks again for stopping by. Bye! I'm trying to film a video. Do you want to, do you want to say hello? You're not interested. This is Rory. She may be interrupting me. There you go. Okay. I'll wait until the tail gets out of sight. Rory, I'm trying to film. Move your tail. <sighs> Rory? So, there's a camera. Sweetie, there's a camera just there. 
Yeah, thank you.